welcome to you. My name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. I am again so excited, honoured and privileged to share with you our July subscriber unboxing. Yes, it's going to be at least mid, proper mid-August by the time you see this because I've been so busy and the edit on this one takes quite a bit of work. So I'd love to thank all of the people who have patiently been waiting to see their unboxings shown in this month's video. Every month, as I suggested a couple of months ago, I will be awarding a Dale's Addiction handbag holder to the most creative unboxing. And this month, I am pleased to say it goes to Tanaz from London in the UK. Her facial expressions are everything, even though she doesn't say a word. Um, wait till you get to see her unboxing. Her Instagram handle is Life and Lux Delights, and she is an absolute delight. Congratulations, lovely, and this one you don't have to feel guilty about, that's for sure. As much as I love doing these videos, I think I'm going to need to take a break for a couple of months, and that's because A, for me to be able to put the next video together will be when I'm on holiday and as much as I love you guys I do need to take a holiday so I won't be able to pull together a video. It doesn't mean that you can't submit your unboxings it just means there won't be a video for August and there probably won't be a video for September either. So I'm open to receiving your submissions and you can do so following the links and information in the description box below. I just won't publish another video until October. So um, please bear that in mind and thank you so much for your patience. Without further ado, let's enjoy these fabulous submissions from you guys, what you've been buying, what you've been loving and yeah, the joy, the joy. It's all about the joy. So um Take it away. First of all, we have a beautiful vintage Fendi baguette from Bella at Fraga Bellissima. She loves beautiful things. Now, this Fendi baguette was bought pre-loved. It has a vintage appearance, but it's a model that came out around 10 years ago for the 15th anniversary of the baguette. If you look really closely at the details, the sequin work is unbelievable. These red areas are supposed to look like chaotic brush strokes, hence the illusion of missing sequins. And the black and white background is actually made of tiny sequins too, even though it kind of looks woven, crocheted almost. It's a pretty spectacular bag. I think Bella and Una from Vintage Lover 83 take the prize for the most creative Fendi baguettes, particularly the vintage ones. Just look at the detail on this piece. So if you recall, my mirror baguette is actually the 25th anniversary re-edition baguette. So this one is 10 years prior. Um, it's just, yeah, so unique. They really are art pieces. Thanks for sharing this treasure with us, Bella. And a full look at the piece. This will look striking with so many different outfits. <laughs> it's so, so cool. Okay, next up, we have another person that I talked to quite a bit on the YouTubes. If you remember the fabulous doorman delivering the Louis Vuitton, well, this is Alicia, and she's sharing with me last minute, because I begged her to, her new Jimmy Choo sandals. These are just gorgeous, and I wouldn't have looked at them, to be honest, initially. But seeing her style them with her fabulous man, wearing a simple black dress, but looking gorgeous, and her petite Fendi peekaboo. A match made in heaven. Hi Dale, this is Chelsea from the US and today I have a Celine unboxing. This is the Classique Cur Triumph in Trench. I first saw her in the Soho store and then I tried her on again in Boston and I passed her up at the time but I shouldn't have because recently Celine took her off the website 
so I had to buy from 24S, but they don't give you a Celine box with what you buy, only the dust bag. I love her anyway, and she is my fifth Celine baby. Thank you for showing us all your bags. You're such an inspiration. Thank you, Chelsea. This piece is from Kelly, based in Melbourne, Australia. When she was just passing by Louis Vuitton in Lyon, France last month, she finally found her dream Pochette Matisse. It's from the By the Pool collection in these gorgeous like chalk white with blues and purples, beautiful summer colours. And she's so happy that she waited for her limited edition piece. She also happened to pick up another little piece perhaps to go with it or accentuate her outfit in some other way and that is the matching twilly. Are they twillies? Bandos, bandos from Louis Vuitton Dale in the By the Pool collection as well. So such a great compliment. I think they look fantastic together. Kelly didn't stop there. Then she went to Hermes and picked up these beautiful comfortable looking mules. Now I'm going to get the name of these right somehow. They are called the Sandal Femme Hellia 60 Chev Velour Natural Shoes. Congratulations Kelly, what a great haul. Now here we have Carolyn and she has contributed to our subscriber unboxings many times, always with beautiful choices and typically Fendi. So this time she has three pieces to share with us. The first is from Fendi obviously you can tell by this beautiful yellow box let's see what's inside I'm loving that Fendi are adding a lot more paper packaging it just makes it all the more fun to unbox don't you think okay here we go she's keeping us on the edge it's the Cognac Napa Baguette. A beautiful neutral from Fendi, but I think this one has a bit of an edge that the beige tones don't. Um, and it was great to see Fendi do some different neutral seasonal colors. So congratulations on the regular baguette, Carolyn. Now also from Fendi, we have what appears to be a shoe box. See how there's not a magnetic top. I know, you can tell how many packages I've opened that I can pick that this far away. Yes, and maybe I had a little bit of help. But what do you know, it's a shoe box. Let's have a little looky inside. Again, I'm loving the paper, even on shoes. And check out her gorgeous Hermes bracelet, by the way, matching the fingernail polish. Nice touch, Carolyn. All right, what have we got inside? Do, 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 do. Looks like a slide. Oh yes, these are from Spring Summer. I actually had these sent to me and I tried them in the corally pink color, but my fat little feet won't fit into them. I love the colors of these, they're beautiful. Congratulations on the sandals. But that's not all folks. This one came from her lovely husband. Um, such a beautiful, beautiful piece. I can't wait for you to see it. It was a surprise purchase in the Paris flagship store and somehow supports her addiction. Her husband does anyway. Um, and shortly after she opened it, she remembered that we have this piece in common. I wonder if that gives you any clues about what's inside. The ribbon is so pretty. Here we go. Oh, just a little dust bag inside a big box. A drawstring dust bag, is it? Oh, no. No, yes. Yes, it is. It is a drawstring dust bag. The things we get excited about, seriously. It's a petite boite chapeau. They are just glorious. I need to wear mine more. I think they're such a special hard-sided piece with the heritage details of the house. What a beautiful gift from your husband. I got mine from my husband too. 
and I think that makes it all the more special because they really are an indulgent piece. Thanks for sharing everything with us, Carolyn. Alrighty, next up we have my good friend Tanaz uh, from the Instagram handle Life and Lux Delights. And um, she's, <laughs> she can't believe herself. She's been on Van Island for a little while. Um, it didn't work out particularly well for her. She's done a little bit of shoppy shop. This first bag is from a French designer called Le Tenor. She says it's low end, but it looks beautiful in that gorgeous minty green color. The second from Vanessa Bruno of Paris. <laughs> Look at her face. She just looks so guilty. I love this. <laughs> okay, now this is a practical. This is household. It's beautiful, but very, very practical. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Then the third piece she got is a, let's see it, box bag from Givenchy, pre-loved, but it looks like it's in beautiful condition. <laughs> you can see how in love she is with it. Oh, she's like, how could I resist? How could I resist? And then she went to see Fred, and this is where I have been influenced because I saw this bracelet on. It's the, she called it an edgy everyday bracelet. It's the Fred's Force 10 with white gold. And look at it here stacked on her wrist. Amazing. This is a beautiful story from Alison, who's based in Glasgow, Scotland, who went on holiday in Ibiza and bought her first Fendi. She was planning on buying the raffia, to be honest, but she was disappointed when she saw it in real life, whereas this bag made her heart sing. Now she wants a peekaboo to match, but she says she's a bit skint, so it's not happening just yet. <laughs> but isn't it a beautiful Fendi first in this interlaced woven leather? It's just like it's holiday all over. And you know, if you wanted a memory of Ibiza, this bag is the one. Congratulations, Alison, and thanks so much for sharing it with us. Look at this detail. Thank you to the beautiful and generous Corinne at the YouTube channel, Mary Lux, and on Instagram as well. Corinne often contributes her unboxings here, and I always look forward to what she has to share. Now, what's that? Hmm, interesting. Okay, we have a Chanel unboxing. It's a wallet on chain in this beautiful metallic grey. This is such a great bag to take from day to night. And I love, I love this grey. It's almost pewter, but it has like an edgy vibe to it. There's nothing like a fresh Chanel unboxing. Oh, Corinne, thanks so much for sharing with us. It's gorgeous. Love the world, but keep the sky on your mind.